This is my shelf pin hole drilling jig. The jig comprises a simple router guide and this spring-loaded indexing pin. Guided by a T-track and pegboard, there's no faster way to drill perfect shelf pin holes. Free plans for this jig are available on my website, along with a SketchUp drawing. There's a link to all that in the video description. And the rest of this video will go over the construction and assembly process in more detail. All the parts are cut from 3 8 inch birch plywood. Everything is cut according to the plans, so now I'll drill the holes. I'm using a depth limiting countersink bit here to drill out the pilot holes, but this can be any regular bit. This is the activator bar. It needs a rectangular hole so it can pivot. I drilled two holes side by side and I'll chisel out the excess. The assembly goes like this. Start with both layer one pieces. Add the T-track in between to make sure the spacing is right. Also add some paper shims so that the fit isn't too tight. Add the layer 2 piece. Then thread the metal nut on the nylon bolt and insert it through this hole so that the two pieces made up correctly. And clamp down. Now the interesting part, we've got the four remaining levels, activator bar, nylon bolt, metal washer, spring, and metal nut. I used a nylon bolt instead of metal because metal will scratch and damage the wooden pegboard. And when everything goes together, the nut should be flush with this face. Almost done. Just extending the pilot hole. To mount the router, drill holes as needed for your model. making the pegboard guide. I'll attach this piece of the pegboard over here to keep the router from tipping. Screws will work fine, but I'm using some double-sided tape. Making the guide rail, you need pegboard, T-track, and some hardware. Two countersinks are drilled from the underside. The screw goes into the countersink we just drilled. 
and the nut over top. Finally, the T-Track. And you can make this guide as long as you want by connecting T-Tracks together. All done. Now here's a row of holes drilled in real time. So I hope you found this project useful. Go ahead and grab the plans. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.